On this example, we're instructed to use either a double angle formula or a half angle formula to simplify these expressions. So our expressions are cosine squared of 37 minus sine squared of 37 and cosine squared of 7x minus sine squared of 7x. So down below, you'll notice that I've gone ahead and I've listed out um, our double angle formulas on the left hand side and our half angle formulas on the right hand side. So as I kind of take a look through these, it appears to me that both of these examples resemble the right hand side of this double angle formula. So um, this is going to give us a cosine of two times whatever theta is. So in our case, on this first example, we can say that, well, it's cosine squared of 37 degrees. The 37 degrees is occupying the same spot as this theta. It's also occupying the same one as this theta. So our formula tells us we can simply go with two times whatever's in theta spot. So this will be two multiplied by 37 degrees, which will reduce down, we can say is cosine of two times 37 is 74 degrees. Very similarly on this bottom one, it's again that same formula, the double angle formula for cosine. So seven X is occupying theta's um, place in this formula. So on this one, we're gonna get two multiplied by seven X which will reduce down to be cosine of 14 X. All right, hope this helps out and get the formulas out in front of you and then look at which one of them uh, resembles the right hand side, basically as you reduce this down using either a double angle formula or a half angle formula. Good luck to you on it.